A few years ago, US Airways Flight 1549 took off from LaGuardia Airport in New York. It was 3.25 in the afternoon. And just two minutes later, the plane flew into a flock of Canada geese and the two engines were immediately disabled. The senior pilot, Captain Sullenberger, Sully, sent a mayday call to the control centre, but he quickly realised that without any engine power, he'd have no chance to get to the nearest airport. So he took the decision to ditch the plane into the River Hudson below. You can imagine the terror of the passengers and the crew as they faced disaster and death. And with no time to think or plan, Captain Sully managed to make a textbook emergency landing in the waters below. There are famous pictures of passengers standing on the wings of the floating aircraft, waiting for the rescue boats to come. Every single person got off that plane safely, and Captain Sully didn't leave the plane until he had walked the length of the cabin twice to make sure that it was completely empty. In the Bible, the word salvation means to rescue, to help, to deliver, to set free, to redeem, to save. This is what Captain Sully did for his passengers. He brought them to safety. And when Christians speak about salvation, they mean all the different ways that God has been reaching out through history to save us from sin and death and from the tragedy of the fall. It starts in the Garden of Eden, when God continues to care for Adam and Eve, even after they had sinned. He blesses the family of Noah after the great flood. He calls Abraham and his descendants to make them into a great nation, the Jewish people, the people of Israel. God delivers them from slavery in Egypt through the hands of Moses. He teaches them how to love and worship him he brings them to a promised land. He leads them through persecution and defeat and exile. And he promises to send them a saviour, a messiah, who will bring them a final deliverance from sin and suffering and even from death. Christians believe that Jesus Christ, who was born of the Virgin Mary 2,000 years ago, is the promised Saviour and Messiah. And in fact, the name Jesus, which is the same as the Hebrew name Joshua, actually means Saviour or salvation or the Lord saves. God's desire to bring us salvation, which is expressed in so many ways in the Old Testament, is fulfilled in Jesus Christ. His death on the cross brings us forgiveness and healing, because it was the perfect act of love and obedience, of infinite value. His resurrection brings us an extraordinary new life and the hope of heaven. And the gift of his Holy Spirit fills our hearts with the love of God and unites us in the community of the church. There are some beautiful images of salvation in the New Testament. In one passage, a paralysed man is brought to Jesus on a stretcher. Jesus forgives him his sins and then commands him to stand up. And to the amazement of the crowds, he picks up his stretcher and walks out of the building. He is set free physically and spiritually. In another passage, Jesus is brought to the house of a young girl who has died. He wants to help but they just laugh at him. So he goes to the child, takes her by the hand and says, little girl, I tell you to get up. And through his words and through that touch, she is raised to life again. Saint Peter was one of Jesus's closest friends. But when Jesus was arrested, Peter abandoned him. He is haunted by his own failure and cowardice. He is a broken man. But when Peter meets Jesus after the resurrection, he comes to know the joy of being forgiven and his shame is replaced by an unshakable peace. Peter's faith 
in the risen Jesus makes him fearless. Jesus can change our lives today if we believe in him and let him help us. We can be trapped in sin and selfishness and resentment. We can be overcome with fear or failure or regret. But Jesus can bring us forgiveness and peace of heart and a new sense of purpose. The knowledge that Jesus is my saviour gives me such security I know that God is faithful, it makes me fearless, and it gives me the hope of eternal salvation, of sharing in the life and the happiness of heaven when I die. One of my favourite passages about salvation comes in Psalm 18 in the Bible. It goes like this. God is my rock, my fortress, my deliverer, my shield, my place of refuge, my stronghold. He reached down from heaven and took hold of me. He drew me out from the mighty waters. He rescued me from my powerful enemy. With him, I can break through any barrier. With him, I can scale any wall.